Well, they're working here as we continue to see uh, that turn and the models here. We're feeling pretty good about that. Incredible pictures there coming out. We typically see that, you know, during the day, but the flight last night obviously was in the middle of the night, so we were able to see that uh, that swirl there uh, when it peaked at Category 5. It is down to a Category 4. The pressure is up a little bit here in the winds. Uh, uh, National Hurricane Center still holding at 150 here, but where's the eye, right? It's disappeared here. It's going through another eye wall replacement cycle, or really the first one of its kind here so far in the history of this storm here, and that means it weakens temporarily. It could go back up, but again, it doesn't matter. The fluctuation, as I mentioned here, 130, 180 for us. It's the same forecast. The, phone, the cone continues to push it north and west and then eventually making that turn. So what's happening here, a little bit of wind shear has kind of eaten away a little bit at the southwestern part of the core of the hurricane here, so it's battling that. So it's not as symmetrical, and that's why uh, the winds have come down a little bit here. But the forecast is still for this to remain a Category 4 and still to remain well to the north of the islands. Again, just very fringe effects here for places like Puerto Rico and the northern Leeward Islands. And you see the trend here. Not just that climb to the north and west, but also diminishing wind speeds as well. This is about the weakest the cone and the intensity has been from the National Hurricane Center at 125 as we head into Wednesday PM. You see that line there? We like to see that line. That's the first cone that has depicted that turn to the north. I've been showing to you in the form of our computer models here that are, you know, very good at what they do, and particularly uh, through the last few days when all of them have just been clustered to that right turn, which is still in the forecast. Where it makes a right turn, yeah, we still have to work that out as we. We hit into next week that will determine how much of the impact uh, it will be across the eastern seaboard how big the waves will be for us i think the rip current thread uh, is going to continue to be there 